Gladiator 2 doesn't bring back Russell Crowe as Maximus, but it introduces several high-profile stars to the franchise, like Paul McGow, Denzel Washington, and Pedro Pascal. Today, at Movie Recap Pro, we take a closer look at Pedro Pascal's Gladiator 2 character. I claim this city for the glory of Rome. The Last of Us and Game of Thrones actor stars in Gladiator 2 as Marcus Acacius, a morally righteous general of the Roman Empire, trained under Maximus himself. Marcus is a gifted leader and military strategist, and later, as his gladiator fights prove, he's a skilled swordsman as well. But despite his life of violence, Marcus is a cynical figure. He's the one who commanded the Roman siege on Numidia, which led to the destruction of Lucius's home and family. After the Numidian invasion, Marcus has a change of heart and isn't willing to sacrifice any more men in the name of the empire. His military responsibilities urge him to serve the Roman emperors G and Cacola, but behind their backs, Marcus is conspiring with former Princess Lucilla to establish a new rule in Rome. Marcus doesn't want to uproot the empire. Rather, he wants to make the empire less corrupt and restore its former glory. In this sense, Marcus Acacius is an idealist. His life of constant bloodshed has taken a toll on him, and he wishes to contribute to a better empire. In this sense, Pedro Pascal's Gladiator 2 character is reminiscent of his role in The Last of Us. In the hit HBO series, Pascal's Joel is yet another violent man yearning for peace. Whose head could I give you to satisfy your fury? The general's dynamic with Lucius is interestingly complex. Initially, Lucius just wanted to seek vengeance from Marcus and the rest of the Empire for the death of his wife. But matters get complicated when he realizes Marcus is married to his estranged mother, Lucilla. Eventually, Lucius harbors empathy for Marcus and realizes that the Roman general is a changed man. This is why, despite defeating Marcus in a blood-soaked confrontation in the Colosseum, Lucius spares his life. Considering that Gladiator 2's characters are drawn from real life, Marcus Acacius is an entirely fictional character. Lucius, Lucilla, Emperor G, and Cacola are all inspired by actual historical figures, but Marcus is more of a representation of Roman generals at the time. With that being said, the Siege of Numidia is an actual historical incident, even though it took place in an entirely different era. Numidia was attacked by the Romans from 118 BC to 105 BC, while Gladiator II is set roughly 300 years later, in the 2nd century AD. While Marcus Acacius might not be an actual historical character, he still represents the better side of the Roman Empire. Pedro Pascal's performance keeps the moralistic Roman general grounded in reality in an otherwise larger-than-life historical epic.